15th marks an economic 9-11 that shook the U.S. Lehman Brothers, a global financial services firm, collapsed and became a symbol of the largest bankruptcy in American history. Now, some are already beginning to cheer in hope of a light at the end of the tunnel. The work of recovery continues. And though I will never be satisfied while people are out of work and our financial system is weakened, we can be confident that the storms of the past two years are beginning to break. Others say recovery and relief are nowhere in sight. Among them is transcaster Gerald Salenti. It hasn't ended. That was only the beginning. We're going to see a lot more. There is no recovery. It's a cover-up. They're covering it up with stimulus packages, with buyouts, with bailouts. It's not going to fix the problem. 15 million people in America are jobless, and what caused this didn't happen overnight. Put it, put it this way, in order to have a 20 to 30 trillion dollar global blow up, which we had across late 2008, early 2009, you don't have a few bad apples and you don't have a few simple mistakes. You have everybody basically bought in on a system that's fundamentally unsound. With unemployment in the double digits, millions have lost their homes. <laughs> This homeless shelter in New York fills up with people who have nowhere to live every night. Italo used to work in construction, but after losing his job, he ended up on the street. Now, he's a father unable to support his two daughters. It was pretty hard to get a job. I found the jobs uh, off the books, you know, where they pay cash, but uh, it was two or three days out of the week, and some weeks it was not even one day he'll let me know when he needs me and it was pretty hard another person at the shelter arlo lost all of his savings almost in the blink of an eye with that he also lost hope and turned to drugs and alcohol I got laid off you know then i started uh dipping into my savings you know so i mean i lost 150 grand in a matter of a couple days due to companies going under and stock market crashing. Like millions of Americans, these people went from feeling safe and secure to having nothing. In his documentary, filmmaker and blogger Danny Schechter dissects why America's economy collapsed. House, okay? He calls the whole thing a crime story. People are suffering, but the people on Wall Street who are responsible for this crisis have yet to be held accountable, have yet to be punished, have yet to even be investigated in any serious way. While accountability is still in the offing for those who may have impacted the financial collapse, this man didn't manage to escape punishment. Sam is a former white-collar criminal who says he used to rip off people and institutions. Why? He says for fun and profit. The former fraudster says there are many still out there just like him who have been having a blast on Wall Street before everything was revealed. White collar crime is very complicated, very complex, takes enormous resources to investigate. We have less resources investigating white collar crime in the United States of America than we have police officers in the city of New York. So could it be way too early for Americans to even start thinking of throwing on the party hats? When I read Warren Buffett, one of the top investors in America, saying we haven't solved the problems yet and that he's taking his money out of the stock market because he thinks it's very volatile uh, and, you know, the dollar itself, you know, is being questioned as a reserve currency, then you realize this crisis is much more deep than people are telling us. Financial analyst Max Wolf also says recovery, for now, is a myth. We have done almost nothing to solve any of our structural economic problems. And we see that in our recovery of the last six months, in which the bottom 80% of Americans see their lives get harder every day. On the anniversary of a symbol of America's strength collapsing, some are alleging recovery is underway in the U.S. However, many believe what's happening now is just the beginning, and things could still turn tougher than ever. Anastasia Trikina, RT.